Okay guys, welcome to the first repair video of the Chatham Road Junction channel. Uh, I thought I'd do this one for you because it's quite a nice simple one to be starting off with but something I've seen quite a few people struggling with online. Um, I connected my spare cab up, power cab up to my main one the other night, just used it as a second controller, uh, which worked lovely apart from the fact that the throttle thumb wheel just here um, was playing up a little bit. Sometimes it'd work, sometimes it wouldn't. Um, sometimes it jump numbers uh, and sometimes it just wouldn't work at all um, so I thought I'd have a little play around with it took it apart I'd look inside and um, the thumb wheel itself seemed to be okay um, I had a quick look on Google and a lot of people are saying that actually inside the handset so you can see there's some plastic casing just take this out here this piece just here which holds the flywheel in place when you're using it uh, some people are saying that this wears away but there might be a little bit of wear on that one but it's not going to affect the actual use of the power cab at all and uh, so I dug a little bit deeper uh, and realized that what the problem probably was was this bit just here there's a little encoder uh, which sends the signals to the main chip um, which then increases or decreases the speed via the thumb wheel um, so come to the conclusion that that was probably knackered um, so I had a look online um, found a replacement part on Coso DCC I had that a couple of days ago and it's arrived today um, so I've just popped that in nice and simple to do all you need is your shoulder and iron a bit of solder and screwdriver to actually take the power cable apart and I'll just bring it a bit close to the camera you can see there's the three solder joints there, I'll tidy them up and trim them down now they've been done. Um, that part from Coastal DCC was £5.50, um, I think the pulses was about £1.50, uh, but while I was on their website I actually ordered a new power cable as well for the power cab. Now I've seen these online and sometimes they go for £20-25. Uh, I know a friend of mine bought one for around that price not that long ago. Um, and I know that there are cables for power cab that won't actually supply track feed. Uh, so I gave them a call before I ordered it to check that it does. Um, the gentleman informed me that it does. I've tested it and it does work. So that's brilliant. That was £2.40. Uh, so you can't monitor that just for in case anyone is in need of one of those. Um, so yeah, we've popped this one in. I popped it all back together. It needs to face into the front first. And that's literally it's just the three solders there's nothing else to change make sure you line the flywheel up with the casing on the back pop all that back together pop your screws in i'm just going to pop the center one in just so you can see what i'm talking about there we go and then just to give you a bit of a demonstration on my power cab if you <clears throat> move the thumb wheel the numbers go up as they should pretty much um what was happening was i was spinning it and nothing was happening i was spinning it and jump to full speed without actually pushing the thumb wheel far enough to actually get to full speed um and that's how i determined that the encoder in the spell was knackered uh, so yeah just pop that in and fitted that and then let's pop that in you can see that one working Let's just load it up. Okay. See? Knows that the numbers as it should now. Power going to the track comes down quickly when you press the thumb wheel quickly. Uh, so if any of you guys have any problems with this thumb wheel, uh, you'll probably find a lot of videos online that will tell you that you need to change the casing or the flash a bit, put a bit of flashing on the casing inside um, you'll probably find that it might work for a little bit because um, I found on this one that if I actually pressed the thumb wheel to one side um, it would work a little bit better um, but that's obviously only going to be a temporary fix uh, so for the case of £5.50 get yourself on to uh, Cost or DCC's website and get one ordered if you're uh, having the same problem that I did uh, and that's it for the first repair video I hope it's been useful um, and you can just see 
which part and whereabouts it goes in the handset. Um, it's really simple to get to, just, just unscrew the back. That's all there is to it. Take that one piece out, resolder the new element in place, and away you go. Lovely. Thanks very much.